16 of slavery. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Why didn't he have that same energy for us when we was getting our, our behinds whooped? Bring it you up. See what I'm saying? The way you think the white man didn't care about you in slavery. How you doing, bro? What's your name? This brother says that he don't believe that race is in the Bible. No, it's not. Give me Tobit again. What you got? What I said was. What's your name? Race is Grace could be in the Bible. I uh -huh. don't believe grace exists in others. Yes, yes. The only difference between me and anybody else on this planet is a smooth change in the genetic code. Whether it's like less men in it or more men in it. Give me that whole God chose. Uh, give me that. Yeah, uh, so he said the only, only difference between you and any other race is DNA. Yeah. Okay, got gotcha. you. Let's find out how. Because you're right. You are very right. Genetics, right? That's that's what changes us, right? But guess what? Did you know that God had a certain people that he chose? Did you know that? Right. So, knowing that, that proves right there that guess what? Race does matter. It matters to God. It may not matter to you, but God said he chose certain people over others. Read that book. You know what I want? Read that. Leave them down. Book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Wow, God made everybody. He made everybody genetic code and DNA like you said. God made those people. God made you the person you are. But God still said this from the top. For, the, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. To be a special people. Uh, 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 special? Different? Read, what else? What else? Unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No, equal to all people. Above all people. No difference between all people. Above all people. Same status quo, same rate, all, all that garbage. What he said? Above all people. So, my brother, look at this sign right here. I gotta, I gotta show you this. The people on this side, God said they are above all people. Do you have a problem with that? You got a problem? Because God said, I'm just reading. Bring it out. Okay. Joel 2. Trying to unify the minds, you know. Yo, back to what you Not just in a certain location. Unify, say it again, unify what? Are you trying to unify the minds of the world? Who's trying to unify the minds of the world? Who? Is it this, is it this what you're trying to do? Is no. Is trying to unify the people of the, you know? No. This is our, what we trying to do right here. Come on, read. I'm this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, God did what? Separated the sons of Adam. Did God try to unify everybody's mind? Separated the sons of Adam. Did God try to bring all nations together? Separated the sons of Adam. In the beginning is Genesis. Adam was in Genesis. From the beginning of time, everybody was separated. Bring it out. Read. How now? Now, through all those people, guess what? All that separation, he still had a chosen people. Read. Yeah. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. The children of who? Children of Israel. So guess what? We had our part first. And then he said, I want everybody else separated from you. You see what I'm saying? That's, the, that's how they tricked us, bro. Martin Luther King tried to gather all blacks, little boys and girls. That's what Martin Luther King thought. But during the end of his, 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 uh, his, his life, he said, I brought my people into what? A burning house. Right. Segregation hurt us. Segregation destroyed us. Right. Segregation got us thinking that we good. Right. The system is wicked. And it's shit enough to exist. Uh, so, 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 so. You said segregation shouldn't have existed. 
I'm talking about the system in general, the whole thing. You know what I'm talking about? It shouldn't have existed at all. So all that this country is in is uh -huh. Right. Now, the country, America says what? Uh, America calls itself what? A great melting pot. Yes? Yeah. That's a, we learned that in hell high school. Yeah. They call itself a great melting pot. They want all nations to be under them. That's America's mindset. God never thought like that. God never wanted it to be that way. We just read it. Give me that uh, Tower of Babel. Somebody find that. Watch this. You understand that? God was always about separation. Joel 2.27. Read that. It's the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Hey, with the mindset you got, guess what? The white man taught you that. But where was that same mindset in slavery, bro? Where was John 3, 16 in slavery? God so loved the world that he gave the only begotten son. Why didn't he have that same energy for us when we was getting our, our behinds whooped? Bring it you up. You see what I'm saying? The way you think the white man didn't care about you in slavery, he ain't had that mindset, so why you got that mindset now? You see, that's reverse racism, man. Okay. Nah. See, the only reason why I think like this is because, like, I seen oh, how it was, how it was, okay. how it worked the whole time. You know what I mean? How this worked? How you know the trials and tribulations of mm -hmm. you know this system, this flaw in every system. Okay. Right. And I'm speaking on those. Levels. Now, you can sit here and say that you can only, you know, look at these folks out there and only preach to those. But then you still need the others just to connect into a deeper you know, you party. Nope. You don't. Nope. Sorry. You said you, said you can teach to the other people, right? You said you can teach to these people only, but you still need the others. Let's find out what Christ said. Give me Matthew 15, 24. Because guess what? The same thing we doing. Wait, let me, let's start from the top. Do you actually love God? I do. I love my God. So you're going to be obedient to his word, right? I love he said, my God. He said, you love God. your God. What, really what do your God look like? What's your God look like? Is he white or black? My God don't have a form. Oh, okay. I see where we're going with this. Your God don't have a form. Do you read your Bible? Do you read your Bible? Do you read the Bible? No, I don't believe in a man created um, being at all. I believe that there's someone up there, but nah, I'm not putting a title to it. You know what, bro? I'm going to help you. The man that you believe is this man right here. This is who you believe right here. That ideology you got, bro, you learned that in some school or some pastor don't told you that, but this image is in your head. Because right. the God of the Bible said to separate from all nations. You said otherwise. Give me Matthew 15, 24. Let's find out. He said that you can teach, you can teach to all, only these people, but you still need the other people to unite everyone. Christ didn't think like that. Read. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who's speaking? The colors are red or what? If the colors are red, who is, it, who is it coming from? Let me ask you. It's coming from Christ's own mouth. This is Christ speaking. Let's find out who Christ taught. Come on, read again from the top of the brother. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Was Christ sent to all nations? The house of Israel. Whites. House of Israel. Japanese. House of Israel. Teach the Chinese. House of Israel. So that's who Christ taught. That's what we gonna do. If you can't accept that, you don't love God. Our right. right. people say they're Christian all the time. But when the real Christian get the Bible, they hate it. Right. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation.